Hi, my name is Livia, also known as Mexican Haiku or the Bochca Marina, which was actually the first name I used when I started using the internet. <laughs> I'm an abstract expressionist painter and haiku poet from Mexico. When I was a little kid, I was very influenced by my mother. She's a very creative person and she loved Bob Ross and we would watch his show reruns. We used to live in a house that had a small storage room in the garage and she used to talk about that she wanted to convert it into an art studio and she would draw things on napkins and she would say that she would make those paintings in, in the studio. And then when I was about 12 and just like growing into a teenager, I was really struggling with my gender identity and just like growing up in general. And we moved to a different city and I was getting bullied very badly at school. It was a very hard time for me. But then I also had this great art class in that school and they introduced us to Van Gogh and Tamayo and artists like that. And for the first time in a long time since moving and changing schools, I felt like I could connect with something and I felt that I was good at something and I just fell in love with art ever since. First of all, I'm very influenced by my sister, Grecia Monrock. She's the most prolific writer I've ever met. She writes the way other people take a shit. <laughs> I mean, every day and sometimes even three times per day. Um, she really pushes me to believe in myself and my authenticity and to believe that the things that I feel and the things that I want to say are important enough to be put into the world. Visually, I'm a huge fan of Basquiat. I love how he faced the canvas with all these raw emotions and rage and feelings and he just went for it. And he layered all these images with words to convey different level, levels of interpretation for the viewer. As a street artist myself, I'm also very into his work as Samu and how he later translated all that into the canvas. I'm also a big fan of Andy Warhol because like him, I'm very influenced by pop culture. But what I love mo the most about him is his exploration into self-identity and sexuality. That's so often overlooked when looking at his work. In my own work, I'm also very influenced by feminist and queer literature. I'm very moved by the works of Paul Preciado, Joan Didion, Elana Dyke Woman, and Simone de Beauvoir. And finally, I just love the simplicity and the way of seeing life of Yoko Ono and the Fluxus movement. And I think that really translates in my poetry and photography work. I used to be very neat and precious with my work, but after completing my residency at Chateau d'Orquebo, I just decided to let loose and have fun on the canvas, and that has been a massive shift for me. I'm just really enjoying myself right now, painting in these huge canvases with no expectations. I just finished, finished a series called Habitar, which focused on my queer identity and my gender dysphoria and my own, my own exploration of womanhood. And right now I'm just like taking a break and just having fun and figuring out what I want to talk about next in my work. The biggest challenge of being an artist, wow, I think that making a living <laughs> is the biggest one, but that can be said of anybody living under capitalism. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. The advice that I would give to my younger self is just believe in yourself and your work and fuck all the teachers in art school and anyone that made you believe that you weren't good enough. Just don't be afraid, don't be self-conscious and just fucking go for it. <laughs> so when I first arrived at my residency in Orkebo, I was just going to make small format paintings like I was used to. But then I found a huge piece of canvas in the basement and I just thought that was my opportunity to make something different. So I grabbed a tube of blue paint and I painted all my body in blue and I just laid on the canvas and I also made prints with my breasts on smaller canvases. <laughs> and I made a huge mess. I thought that they were going to kick me out of the, of the residency because of that, because I painted like the whole bathroom in blue and the sheets and everything. 
but it was so much fun and it really helped me like just let loose and be free and, and have fun. I love to listen to music while I work. I don't think that I could work without listening to music. Um, if you want to follow me on Spotify, I make fire playlists that you're going to love. Well, I just love it when people try to interpret my abstract work and they just project themselves into whatever I painted. I think that that's always really, really fun. Well, I really want people to think about their identity and the labels and limitations that they place upon themselves when, whenever they see my work. Thank you so much for featuring me. Um, you can find me on Instagram as Mexican Haiku and the Bochca Marina. Bye.